Hi all. In this video, I am going to explain about input switch component of the Prime NG. So input switch is used to select a Boolean value which can be either true or false. So this input switch module you can use with the NG model and also the reactive forms module. First I am going to show with the NG model then I will switch to the reactive forms module. So let's get started. First you have to import input switch module. I am copying this one and going to the project. So in this project I am only having single module so if your application have multiple modules and if you want to use the input switch in whichever module you have to import the statement in that particular module so here i am going to use in the app.module.ts file okay so then the same thing needs to be added in the imports array once this has been done this input switch module needs to be used with ng model or with the reactive forms module so in order to use that first i have to import forms module as well from the angular forms so i am importing forms module in order to use the ng model then that also needs to be imported in the import sections once this two things has been imported go to the html file simply add p input switch that's it then for the connectivity between the component.ts file and the HTML in order to achieve the two-way binding, then you have to use ng model, then you have to declare a variable here. So I am telling it as switch checked. And I am going to use this variable here and I am telling by default it is false. Save, save and by running the application you can see the switch with by default the value is false right if you want to make it as so by default the value will be false and you can change to true or false okay now if you want to make by default as a true or by default as enabled you can give the value as true here then automatically by default it will accept the true and you can change to false true again okay so this is how we are implementing the input switch. The next thing is like if you are thinking you want you don't need a true or false value. Instead you need something else. Then that is also possible here. You can tell instead of true value what is the value you have to give. Yes. Then instead of false value you have to see the value no. Okay. So true false will be replaced with yes or no value if you are using these two properties okay so let's see so by default if you are making as instead of boolean you are making as a value no then it will be it will be disabled disabled means it will be off okay then if you change to yes then it will be enabled okay this is how it looks then next thing is like this input switch have a on change event so on change of this switch it will trigger an event then you will get a event as a prop then handle event i'm writing a function which accept event which returns an event then you can write the same function here now i am giving as any and i am just consoling that value console.log of e so save it and if you do the inspect and on change it will give the current value so i am changing to the no status then inside the event there is a property called checked which will give the current value now it is no again it will say dot checked is equal to yes so you will get the current value whenever the change happens either using this two-way binding ng model variable switch checked or using you know handle inside this function handle event you can access it from the event as well so this is a two way of getting the current value okay then if you want to make it as a disabled so if you want to make this field as a disabled always 
you can give true or false accordingly now i am giving true that means i can't change anymore because it is getting disabled so this is how it is implemented using ng model the next thing i am going to do is instead of ng model i am going to use a reactive forms module in order to use that go to the app.module.ts instead of forms module you have to use reactive forms module i am replacing forms module with the reactive forms module and in the ts file this variable uh, should be declared with a group okay so now i am going to switch checked so one form group i am adding from the angular forms and the form control is also getting added from the angular forms and there is a group and there is a checkbox this is the name of the uh, not the checkbox it is the name of the switch and i am by default before it was a true or false now i am changed to string with yes or no now i am telling it should be yes okay then what you have to do is in the in this one you have to give a div which cover like a form it can be either a form also okay i am giving my group as the form group so here i have added a form group then a variable name then instead of the ng model you have to give form control name okay so that's it then the reactive forms will work see by default it is yes that means i am giving yes here that is now by default it is true then no now it has been changed to the opposite value so on change also you can see the checked value is getting no or yes see so this is how we can implement in the reactive using reactive forms module as well